The Illinois Housing Development Authority Board has announced awards totaling more than $29 million in federal low-income housing tax credits. That money will fund 24 affordable housing developments in 15 Illinois counties, and that includes some in Williamson County. News 3's Maya Skinner joins us live in studio with more on this upcoming project. Good evening, Maya. Good evening, Julie. Once sold to investors, those tax credits will generate an estimated $253 million in private capital to finance the creation and or preservation of more than 1,200 affordable units for low to moderate income families, including those in Marion. Greg Butzlick, president of Butzlick Management Company, says these days affordable housing is needed more than ever after receiving an Illinois Housing Development Authority grant to build rolling acres apartments in Marion. Going through the pandemic and people that are lost of jobs and and still Marion's over there expanding. So and, and the housing is, is a, they're, they're almost in a crisis over there. So it is very well needed. He says he's already worked twice with the city of Marion to bring developments to the town and is excited about the new project that will house those earning at or below 60 percent area median income for Williamson County. It is uh, 56 units. We It's laid out on over 10 acres and it'll be all duplexes, so there'll be 28 buildings. But Slick says plans are still in early stages, hoping to break ground by spring 2022, but says it's important to keep building affordable housing because the demand has continued to grow. You know, there, there's not a whole lot being built in Southern Illinois right now. You know, it's, as everyone knows, that the past year has been tough, and it's been it's, it's tougher to, to, to get big stuff like this developed. And it's nice that it's something that, that people, you know, that of, of the whole income spectrum, you know, can afford to have a nice place to live. According to the National Low Income Housing Coalition, 68% of extremely low income renter households are severely cost burdened or spend more than half of their income on housing. Live in the studio, Maya Skinner, News 3. We're using our COVID.